Hey y'all, what's up? This your girl, Kinetic Medium Practice, and I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, I am a pathetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me, the Holy Angels and the Divine. Also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. All right, you guys. This is going to be a general collective message, a general read. Remember to take what resonates, leave what don't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. All right, you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Happy Monday. We're going to see what's going on on this Monday. Oh, wow. Judgment card here. Will of Fortune here. Three of Pentacles here. Hierophant here. Five of Wands here. Six of Swords here. Well, this shit came out right off the back. Remember, this is going to be a mini read. Uh, But before I get started, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pray. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and pray. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, I ask you to see your greatest white light. And please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra, protect my throat chakra, protect my heart chakra, protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak, that does not want me to get messages out. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the protection and the love and the messages. Somebody could be a Muslim in this energy. Like, I'm literally seeing that in my third eye. I'm seeing somebody bow their head like this, get on their knees and pray. Somebody could be a Muslim or somebody could be very spiritual or somebody could be very religious. I feel like there is a group of people here that's been working with a warlock. Wow. Capricorn energy here. Three of Pentacles. Uh, Libra energy here coming out. Aries, Capricorn. All right. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. But there is a warlock here. This devil energy. Three of Pentacles that has been working with a group. Okay. It's always people working in cahoots. Okay. It's always people working in groups. Okay. But whoever this Three of Pentacles group, group is that's been working with this warlock, they're all under judgment apparently we pretty much already know that these motherfucking people are up under judgment but i'm hearing they don't want to accept it somebody doesn't want to accept the fact i'm hearing something about spiritual gifts angel number 222 on the clock somebody doesn't want to accept the fact that you're spiritually gifted or something like that i'm hearing or somebody doesn't want to accept the fact that you're war you're royalty and you're powerful strength card here leo energy also they don't want to accept the fact that you're chosen i feel like there is a group here that's been trying to play god in your life they've been working with a warlock i told y'all i told y'all i don't care how many times this energy gonna come out if it keeps coming out oh well we'll just keep getting, getting different storylines okay but this warlock energy that's been working with this group they've been trying to play god in your life how you gonna try to play god in somebody's life that's a chosen one that's powerful that's standing in their powerful i mean that's standing in their power not bothering anybody minding their fucking business this could be some type of spiritual warfare some type of spiritual attack i feel like these people in this group this warlock in this group, now they're deciding to sell on the common waters. At least that's what I see for now. These people don't want no problems. I'm hearing a little scrappy. Somebody could be from Atlanta and we don't want no problems. Problems. Ooh. <laughs> Somebody could be from Atlanta. I'm hearing something about Bankhead. Uh, uh, Rashida and Kurt could be significant. Love and hip hop could be significant. Yeah, death card here. Scorpio energy. I feel like this enough is enough. Number one, enough is enough of the same damn energy coming out. Okay, I'm tired of the same damn energy. I say that every video, y'all. Oh, excuse me. My nose is starting to itch. But it is what it is. Let me get some sage real quick. This is ridiculous. What I'm hearing is don't come for me and I won't come for you. Let me say that again. I'm hearing don't come for me and I won't come for you. There's some type of spell work or some type of black magic, some type of manipulation, possibly even death spells. I'm picking up on heavy death spells. I feel like this group of people. So maybe I'm piggybacking off of the last reading that I did. There is a group of people here, here that keeps coming for somebody that keeps picking at them like nitpicking. It's like everything you fucking do, you got to get somebody attacking you. It's like everything that you fucking say, everything that you type on social media, somebody has to fucking attack you out of this group. It's like this warlock here. This could even be a feminine. This could be a woman that's doing this. That could be the ringleader of this group or the ringleader of this occult. Whatever this is, or the ringleader of this church, it's like you can't uh, win for losing. It's like you can't even be great. You can't even live a normal life. You can't even have a happy lifestyle. But that's okay. These people are up under judgment. You're chosen. 
Okay, yeah, Page of Swords here. These are gang stalkers. Like I always say, these are a bunch of witches and warlocks with the devil card here that are gang stalking that keep attacking chosen ones. So obviously we're piggybacking off of the last reading. Five of Swords here, but now these people are up in their head. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. I'm telling you, there was some type of plan here. This can literally be a new group. I remember that I did a reading uh, maybe a couple of days ago where I was picking up. There was a, a, a karmic group, a karmic, uh, an occult that was attacking a chosen one or attacking a group of, of chosen ones that could be in the public eye. You don't have to be in the public eye, but this group warrant this other group because I'm seeing two groups here. One of these groups or one of these people could have told this group or this person, hey, I don't think you should go up against divine masculine, divine feminine. They're really chosen. If you do spell work on them, if you do black, black black magic on them, if you work in cahoots against them, you're going to be under heavy judgment. Okay, if you do death spells on them, you're going to end up passing away or something deadly or something really, really bad is going to happen to you. But I feel like whoever this person is or these people are, they thought they were Billy Badass. Now look at they bitch ass. Five of swords, five of wands. Chaos, drama, confusion, and up in their motherfucking head. Somebody regrets doing spell work on you. Now somebody wants to make amends. Yeah, because you got queen of swords on their motherfucking ass. Somebody could have did spell work on you and you could have returned that shit right on back to say the get back, bitch. You want to do a death spell on me? Back to sender. That's what you could have said, divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody regrets coming for you. And you know what? These be the type of people, y'all. These be the type of motherfucking people that play like they don't understand what spell work is. They don't know what black magic is, death spells. They claim tarot readings and, and, and you know, people that do stuff in the spiritual community is demonic and it's devil worshiping and it's witchcraft. But these be the main motherfucking people that be doing witchcraft on chosen ones, on spiritually gifted people. On the spiritual community, there could literally be a group of people that work for YouTube or TikTok or something like that that keeps doing spell work on the spiritual community. I'm hearing somebody is trying to get rid of a uh, spiritualist. I'm hearing true spiritualists. It's like they're okay if you have these karmics do tarot. They're okay with them pushing a false agenda, but when it's really a spiritually gifted person, when it's really somebody that's really you know anointed and covered, they want to get rid of y'all. One second, y'all. Let me get my little soda. Let me get my squirt, y'all. My favorite squirt. Let me get my little soda. Give me a drink. Whew. That was good. Excuse me. But yeah, but this is just the same crock of fucking bullshit. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on a new group here. I feel like one person out of this old group could have warned this new group or one person could have warned somebody else. Hey, I don't think you should come for divine masculine, divine feminine. I keep hearing something about spiritual gifts. Yeah, 10 of wands here, king of cups. So this king of cups, warlock energy, somebody was warned, but they didn't take heed to warning king of pentacles. Somebody wants somebody anointing or spiritual gifts. This is why they won't stop. I'm hearing that song by Chris ba Chris Brown and what was that? Um, uh, Jordan Sparks and it won't stop. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing something. Yeah, somebody just won't stop. They won't give this up. Ace of Cups here. Somebody wants your blessings. Somebody wants your anointing. This group, this witch coven, this occult, this secret organization, this society, this person. Somebody refuses to let this go. It's like this group of this person, they do this shit every fucking day. And it's like when the spell work backfires and you have to get into the queen of swords or the king of swords. Now motherfuckers is looking crazy. Now they up in their head. Now they dealing with a bunch of chaos and drama. And then they try to project that shit onto you and they want you to carry burdens. But these are not your burdens to carry. Somebody is just, I don't understand this energy. And y'all know when I say I don't know, that mean I do know. I just want to know why this shit keeps happening, why this shit keeps coming out, why these people refuse to give this shit up. Yeah, nine of staffs here. Somebody is afraid. Somebody is literally living in fear and they're up in their head and they're in the five. Somebody is dealing with a bunch of chaos and drama. They up in their head with the nine of staffs here. Somebody is scared that this shit is going to backfire. These death spells that they've been doing, this black magic that they've been doing, they're scared it's going to backfire. I'm hearing it's already had. It already has. Sun card here. Leo energy. Somebody could definitely have Leo placements with the sun card and the strength card, justice card. You could even be a Libra. You could be a double Libra. You could be a Capricorn. You could be a double Capricorn. Eight of Wands here. Moon card here. 
here, coward ass motherfuckers. Moon card here with the high priestess here. These people are attacking a high priest or a high priestess. This is wow, this is crazy. Y'all know what I'm hearing in my third eye. There is a group here. There's several groups. I'm always picking up on groups, but there's one particular group here with the three of pentacles that's on social media. These are people that work for YouTube and TikTok, but these are the people that work for YouTube, TikTok, and I don't know, Instagram, whatever the fuck. These are people that run platforms that are working behind the scenes. You can't visually see these people. You can't click on their on their platform. You can't subscribe to them or anything like that. They work behind the scenes, attacking chosen ones, attacking spiritually gifted people. These people are, are corrupted. I'm hearing something about a corrupt organization, a corrupt business. And this could also just be random people that are jealous of you, that are en envious of you. These are the type of people, they will never tell you this shit to their face. They're not going to tell you that they jealous of you or they don't fucking like you. They just going to attack you in secret and then play like they don't know nothing about spell work. Then play like they don't know nothing about witchcraft when they do. Yeah, these motherfuckers will tell you to your face, oh, tarot is demonic. Yeah, no, tarot is, is devil worshiping, you know, being a part of the spiritual community, you know, that's witchcraft, but they be the main motherfucking people doing spell work, ten of pentacles, because they want your abundance and they want to be the ones in the public eye. What did I tell you? They want to be the ones working in the public eye. They want to be the ones loved and admired. I wouldn't be surprised if the six of, six of wands didn't come out. These people want your blessings. Okay. I'm hearing go get, go get, go get, go get your blessing. It's your time. It's your time. I keep telling y'all that, okay? I'm not just singing that song for nothing. It's your time to win. This is your season for abundance. And these motherfuckers are trying to take it. They're trying to snatch it from you. They're trying to snatch the baton out your hand once again. Didn't I tell y'all we all running the human race? This is the human race and everybody been running the same race. But unfortunately, the chosen ones was counted out. They snatched the baton out your hand so they could get to the finish line. They worked in cahoots. They tripped you when you was down so they could get to the finish line. But that's okay, though. I've been saying the same thing over and over. And if I got to keep repeating that, I'm going to keep doing that for the most high God. God said, that's okay. Them, them people over there, they counted you out. They tripped you when you was down. They snatched the baton at your hand. So I'm going to take you another round, eight of cups. I'm going to get you to the promised land. And that's where you're headed. So that's what this reading about. That's what this reading is about. Excuse me. That's the root of this. These people are trying to stop you before you get your breakthrough. They're trying to cause shit to happen to you by doing death spells and black magic. I'm seeing a lot of death spells in this energy. Somebody loves doing the death spells on you. This queen of wands, I didn't even see this bitch flip out. This is a dusty asshole. This is a copycat. This could be somebody's ex-best friend. This could be somebody's mother. This could even be somebody's father or somebody's ex that's bitch made. Somebody is not in their masculine energy. They're in their feminine energy. These are bitch made ass people. But you know what's crazy? These are people that gang stalk and watch you and do shit to you behind the scenes. Paid the sword moon card here. But you're, you, you're about to get justice for this shit. Somebody warned these people, a person or a group. I don't know if one group warned another group or one person warned another person, but they, they were warned. Warning come before destruction, bitch. Don't you ever come for a chosen one. Didn't I just say that shit in the last read? But you did it, though. You did it, bitch, because you want this abundance. What I tell you, Ace of Pentacles, you want this great fortune that don't belong to you. And some of y'all done already stole some of this Ten of Pentacles, but now you're going to have to give it back. So not only will Divine Mask and Divine Feminine get a breakthrough, they're going to get a double whammy. They're going to get back what you stole from them, what you took from them, and they're also going to get a new abundance. This ace of pentacles, bitch, that don't belong to you, that you never getting your hands on. These are motherfucking people that work behind the scenes with the eight of pentacles here on these platforms and shit. Bitch, you work for YouTube. You the person behind the scenes that flag videos and shit and, and shadow ban people and shit and try to hide and stop people and shit behind the scenes. That's what you do for work, bitch. You ain't going to the promised land. You ain't going nowhere. You're jealous of somebody. How you going to have a job working for a platform behind the scenes and get jealous of the workers? That's how you make your money. I feel like there's several fucking people here finna lose their job. Or how you going to be secretly jealous of somebody? Cool. Okay, that's cool. Be secretly jealous. But why you got a smile in their face? These are backstabbers. These are friends and family and loved ones and exes and shit. That's jealous of you. So they attack you behind the scenes because they really afraid of you. They really scared of you.
These are the type of people I'm telling you. These are the type of people that be like, oh, you know, witchcraft is demonic. I mean, not witchcraft, but tarot is demonic. It's witchcraft. It's devil worshiping. Yeah, they've been attacking the empress. They've been attacking the emperor. They've been attacking chosen ones. Empress card here. This could even be somebody's baby mama that's attacking them. Somebody's mother could be attacking them. There's definitely a mother figure here or a bunch of Jezebels. I feel like there is a woman somewhere, somewhere sitting high, sitting low, sitting on the side, sitting on the left, sitting on the right. There's, there's a woman somewhere. They're not high ranked in the spirit, but they're definitely high ranked on paper. There's a woman somewhere that's orchestrating all of this shit. And this bitch finna go. I'm, here, I'm hearing this bitch finna die. This bitch finna pass away. I don't know who this woman is to you. I'm hearing Harpo. Who this woman? Who this man? Who the fuck is this? Ace of Stabs here. Somebody's sick. Damn, somebody's sick. Somebody's sick with cancer or somebody is sick with an incurable STD. This empress card, uh, this this mother figure, this aunt, this this cousin. There is a female here, this Jezebel, this copycat asshole that's jealous and envious of you. Somebody is secretly sick. They're keeping this a secret. Yeah, how you gonna keep how you gonna keep something like that a fucking secret? I mean, you can. Somebody don't want people to know that they finna pass away. But it's like, what I don't understand is, okay, keep your secret if you're sick or whatever the fuck you're going through. But bitch, don't, don't attack people behind the scenes. I'm here, run up, get motherfucking done up. This shit is evil, what I'm picking up on. I'm starting to feel a heavy energy. There's a group of people that are attacking high priestesses, high priests, anointed ones, chosen ones, because you got a breakthrough coming in. These people are trying to stop you from your breakthrough. They're trying to knock you off your past. Five of Wands, they want you dealing with, with a bunch of chaos and drama. Five of Wands coming out fast. This could be up to 10 people in this group. I keep picking up on this shit. Angel number 16, 16 on the clock. Angel number 11, 11 could be significant. 12, 12 could be significant. Enough is enough. These people know that you're going to the promised land. Hey, divine masculine, divine feminine. Hey, chosen one, you're going to the promised land. you finna go young your way. They want to ride your coattail. They know they can't go. They know they can't pick up the phone and call you and say, KMP collective. They can't pick up the phone. They can't pick up the phone and call y'all collective, divine masculine, divine feminine. Can I ride your coattail? Can we, can, can I go to the promised land with you? You're going to say, nah, I don't know about that. I forgive you, but you know, you can't come with me, you know. Go work on yourself and get to the promised land by yourself. Uh, world card here. It's about to be a completion after some type of karmic cycle. Wow. Here we go with this shit again. Angel number 21. 21 can be significant. 333 can be significant. Here we go with this shit again. I don't understand this shit. These people are trying to put y'all back in y'all fucking south. No, this is evil. Th these people are not going to quit. I keep hearing Chris Brown. And it won't stop. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing Chris Brown. They won't stop doing this. Why won't you let this go? I, I'm telling you, bro, warning come before destruction. It always come before destruction. There's a lot of projection going on here. Yeah, magician card here. Capricorn energy, heavy Capricorn energy coming out. Leo, okay, with the Queen of Wands and the Strength card and the Sun card, okay, magician card, Devil card, Capricorn energy, a lot of um, a lot of Earth, okay, and a lot of fire here. I gotta get quiet for a minute. Let me light some more sage. I keep hearing the plot on a chosen one's life. You guys are up under heavy attack. These people are up under heavy judgment. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. <clears throat> this is so fucking evil, man. This group here, this occult or this person. Whoever this Queen of Wands Empress, there's definitely a woman somewhere. There is a female somewhere. This could be a copycat ass bitch that copy everything you do. This could be your mother. This could be your aunt. This could be your sister. This could be your female cousin, your ex best friend, two of cups here. Somebody don't want you to have love. Somebody don't want you to have love and marriage. Somebody don't want you to be abundant at all. Somebody wants somebody homeless. I keep picking up on homelessness as well. Yeah, nine of swords here. Somebody don't want the truth to come out about something. Somebody has hid, hidden something for so long. Excuse me, spiritual barber. I'm hearing something about the Akashic Records as well. These people could be trying to, they're still trying to do that. Y'all still trying to get into the Akashic Records. 
But with the nine of swords here, somebody is worried. Somebody could be a nervous fucking wreck because they know some type of truth is about to come out about your past, your childhood, maybe, uh, maybe your upbringing. I don't know. Something, something really, really bad could have happened to you in your past or something like that. You could have went through homelessness collective. I can relate. I went through that shit before. Or you could have lost something. You could have lost some, lost something major. I'm hearing a major come. I mean, I'm hearing a major setback for a major comeback. Ain't that how you say it? A my no, a minor setback for a major comeback. I'm hearing Boosie again. I they said I never make it to the top. Cause I come from the bottom. Yeah, so yeah. So you can come from nothing or something like that. Or you went through a lot of trials and tribulations. Even if you come from wealth, even if you come from money. It's like these people have always tried to ruin you and sabotage you. They don't want you to make it, man. Ten of swords are in the reverse. That shit ain't gonna work. You're not gonna defeat the chosen one. What the fuck do y'all want, bruh? This, this shit ain't gonna fucking work, baby. You're gonna have to get this shit up. Like real shit, bro. You y'all really gonna have to get this shit up. I'm literally seeing chosen ones walk into the promised land. I'm literally seeing this in my third eye. I'm seeing all of y'all with backpacks and luggage. Y'all running to the promised land. Matter of fact, you ain't gotta run walk. Cause God already directed, He already directing your path. The most high God, the archangels, the ancestors, they're they're directing your path. Order they ordering the most high God is ordering your steps in his word. Just keep trusting and believing in him. Lover's card in the reverse. These are people that don't have love for you. How the fuck you don't have any love for divine masculine, divine feminine, but you don't want them to have love in their life. You don't love them. You don't care about them. You just want to ride their coattails so you can get to the promised land. You just want to try to ruin and sabotage them while they're on their path, while they're on their way, while they're on their spiritual journey. That's not going to work. You don't even have any love for this person because you don't love yourself. You don't fucking like yourself. So you're trying to somebody. Wow. This is crazy, bro. This is too much. Every time I tap into these reads, man, somebody don't want you to have a connection with the most high God. Somebody don't want you to love yourself. Not only that, somebody don't want somebody loving you, divine masculine, divine feminine. These people don't want y'all to have love in your life. Yeah, I told you the six of wands was going to come out. They also don't want you being loved and admired. Somebody is jealous. I'm telling you, somebody jealous of what you do for work. I'm telling you, if you got a platform, you ain't even got to be a tarot reader. Divine, I'm hearing girl, so you could be another female tarot reader or you could be a man. Doesn't matter. You ain't even got to be a tarot reader. These people are jealous of what you do for work. But you're doing it in the public eye. There is a lot of you with the star card here, eight of pentacles. You do something in the public eye. This could be tarot. It does not have to be tarot. You could do music. You could be a, a rapper, a musician, a singer, songwriter. You could be even a fucking athlete. You could you could play semi-pro football or something like that. I feel like you're on your way to becoming a world-renowned motherfucking star. What did I tell you? I've been saying I've been saying that you're on your way. That's what this is. If you ain't caught on to what I've been saying, you're on your way. You finna get to the promised land. You already really there, to be honest, because you already put in the hard work. So these people are trying to cause you an injustice spiritually, physically, emotionally, physically. They're trying to get you to backpedal. These people want you in your south note. They do not want you being world renowned. Somebody is praying. Somebody is literally on their knees praying against you. These are people that's praying against you. They don't have no love for you, but baby, ain't no love lost. We not mad at y'all. Angel number 666 on the clock. I mean, not on the clock, but I'm seeing 666 at the, with this card with number six at the top of this card. These can be black people. These are melanated people that's doing these. Don't get me wrong. Anybody can be any color. But I'm hearing these are people that are attacking their own people. So this is a group of white people that's attacking other white people. This is a group of black people that's attacking other black people. This is a group of Hispanic people that's attacking another Hispanic person. This Wow, how are you going to attack your own? Oh, because they didn't sell their soul like you? Oh, okay. Yeah, they may have the same skin color as you, but they didn't sell their soul like you. They didn't join this occult. They didn't join this secret organization or society. They didn't sell their soul to the devil. You know what I'm saying? They don't participate in rituals and they don't do spell work, bitch. But that's what you thought. I'm here, run up, get done up. Two of wands here. This is evil. These people want y'all stuck at a standstill. Somebody wants you to watch them live your life. This is destiny swapping here. Protect your destiny. I don't care. You need to pray over your destiny and over the calling over your life because these people want it. They don't want you to receive it. They want to live as you. They don't like you. They ain't got no love, love for you. These people don't got love for you. They don't like you, but they want to be you. What? Make that shit make sense. You don't like divine masculine, divine feminine, but you want to be them. Yeah, four swords here. Somebody wants you wiped the fuck out. Somebody wants you bed reading. Somebody wants you to sleep all day. Somebody does not want you working. I'm hearing Regine and uh, Toya, right? 
Okay, or Toya Johnson, whatever her name is. Lil Wayne, baby mama, and her daughter. I'm here. We're working. We're working. Somebody don't want you working. Four pentacles here. These old stingy ass, selfish ass motherfuckers that be jealous of you. These are the type, these are backstabbers. These are people that will smile in your face, but all the time they want to fucking take your place. They don't really fuck with you. I'm hearing I don't fuck with you. These people don't fucking fuck with you. They don't like you. Yeah, seven of swords here because you're more powerful than them. You're beautiful. This could be a man that's jealous of a woman. This could be a woman that's jealous of a man. This is a lot of fucking shit going on here. I'm hearing somebody finna get their car repossessed or somebody could have got their car repossessed. I don't know why I just picked up on that. If somebody has been trying to cause you not to have a car or a home, I'm hearing this one or two things here. Somebody is, is about to lose a home or somebody is about to lose a car. This emperor here, wow. I feel like somebody has been energy harvesting off of somebody for years. This group of people are one person. It's a lot of energy. Yeah, King of Swords here, eight of, one, eight of Swords here, Three of Swords here. Yeah, there is an emperor here as well. Remember to take what resonate, leave what don't, y'all, because I'm starting to pick up on different storylines, or maybe this all ties in together. Maybe all of these people people are connected, because I'm picking up on groups of people, then I'm picking up on people individually. There's an emperor here, a wannabe emperor. This is not a real divine masculine. I, I'm also seeing a real divine masculine here as well. I'll get into that in a second. That's fine as fuck. It's a real divine masculine that's a boss. This could be an Aries. I don't fucking know. Or somebody is trying to cloak themselves as a, as a emperor. Okay, but there's the Emperor King of Swords here, Eight of Swords here, Three of Swords here. Somebody don't know who they fucking with. Somebody keeps coming after a chosen one, man. I'm here. Somebody finna lose something. I told you, Five of Pentacles here. Somebody finna lose something. If they ain't, if they have not already lost it, they're about to lose it. Somebody keeps coming for somebody that's is extremely powerful, extremely high ranked, and this group thinks this shit is funny. There is a ring leader behind this shit, and this could be a woman. If this is not somebody that you're related to, or if this is somebody that you don't know or you're not connected to this could be somebody a part of your community your town your neighborhood some it's, it's a lot of hidden snakes here that's a part of some type of group a part of some type of a cult you see this snake here on this magician card these people finna be wiped out clean this is evil ten of cups here in the reverse and some of y'all this could be y'all family okay yeah three of stabs here i'm telling you you on your way to the promised land you like this close Matter of fact, I'm going to keep saying this. You're already at the promised land. I wouldn't be surprised if the chariot card didn't come out. You're in the chariot. You're sitting in the in front of the promised land. You already sitting in front of the gates of land and milk and honey in, in, in the spiritual realm. You're already at the promised land. The gates just ain't open yet. The gates ain't open yet. These people are trying to cause some type of illusion. What did I tell you? What the fuck? Seven of cups here in the reverse. They trying to cause some type of illusions. They want you to believe you'll never get love. You'll never have money. You'll be broke forever. You'll be in poverty. You'll never have money. You'll never have love. You'll never have any of this. You're never going to be great. You're never going to be a world-renowned star. You can't be in the public eye. Who are you to say that you can be loved and admired? You don't deserve to have love. I don't love you, so nobody else needs to love you. I hate you, so everybody else needs to hate you. I'm broke and I want you to be broke. I'm losing everything. I want you to lose everything too. How dare you be a hard worker? How dare you be in the public eye? I'm jealous of you, but they'll never tell you that shit in their face, in your face. They'll they'll just they'll just do shit behind the scenes because they're fucking cowards. Moon card here. That's what they do. This is what they like to do. Attack y'all behind the scenes. Cause you all type of spiritual warfare so you can doubt yourself. Please stay in prayer. Yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah, six of pentacles here. And you know one thing I don't like about this: these people, three of cups here in the reverse. These people won't even brag from y'all. A lot of these people be stealing and taking from y'all, stealing your revenue, stealing your money out of your paycheck, smiling in your face. Stealing your motherfucking energy, trying to pull and take from you, but they don't even want to breadcrumb you, but they want to live off your energy. They want to live off your motherfucking money. They want to sacrifice you. They want to get rid of you. They claim they hate you. They claim they don't like you. They claim they can't stand you, but they keep fucking with you. Whether that's in the physical or whether that's in the spirit, they don't even fucking like you, but they got to get in your face because they need energy. Page of cups here in the perverse. This could even be people that's been attacking you since you was a child or even maybe some of y'all own children could be attacking you <clears throat> or somebody could be trying to turn your children children against you. I'm here and that's not going to motherfucking work. That's going to backfire. I keep hearing hurt my not hurt not my chosen one, hurt not my anointed. Eight of cups here. Yeah, but these people refuse to walk away. You just keep moving forward. Eight of cups here in the reverse. They're not going to knock you off your path. You ain't got to go nowhere. Just stay where you at. Just keep following the most I got. Just keep letting God order, order your steps in his word. Just keep trusting and believing in him. <clears throat> yeah, two of pentacles here in the reverse. 
Yeah, these people want you juggling. That's not gonna work. Let me let me pick up these cards and get another day. <clears throat> I might get some oracle cards to clarify. I'm being called to pull them Gale Oracles or my Kipper deck. I really don't know. So again, if you haven't caught on or what's going on to this read, because I know some of you karmics watch me and some of y'all just really just don't understand. You on your way to the promised land. You got a breakthrough that's coming. You got something that's coming to you that's really fucking major. And these people are trying to push you back to your south node. They're trying to figure out a way to continue to block you and stop you. They want to take the baton out of your hands. These people then figured it out. Oh, so this, this must be people that be watching my readings. Okay. So you didn't figure it out. You be studying me, girl. You be studying, studying me, man. Yeah, you karmics be motherfucking studying me. So y'all figured this shit out. Y'all didn't figure it out. Goddamn divine masculine, divine feminine. They didn't figure it out. They figured out that we made it to the promised land. See, they beat us to the finish line. They snatched the baton out of our hands and beat us to the finish line. All those tricks and tactics, all those spell work and black magic and ruining and sabotaging us, causing us to be homeless, broke, assed out. Whatever the fuck they did when we were in their, when we were in our south node, it didn't work. We're in our north node now. And so God, with the eight of cups, I just pulled it out. God already rerouted us to the promised land. We're already sitting in the chariot in front of the gates of land and milk and honey. We already sitting there, but they too late. They just figured it out. They just woke up and realized, oh my God, you mean to tell me everything that I did to divine masculine, divine feminine was in vain? God gave them another route. Why come every time I set a trap for divine masculine, divine feminine, they get out of it every time. How come? How come I did everything? I participated in the rituals. I'm always hearing it. I did the black magic. I did the spell work. I joined some type of a cult. I took it up the ass. I did everything that I was supposed to do to sacrifice divine masculine, divine feminine, and they still, they still escape. Tell me why. why. Why did they escape? How did they escape this God? God gonna always save divine masculine, divine feminine, because they the chosen one. You ain't gonna never break them, ruin them, sabotage them, cause them to be broke, homeless, nothing. And if you did, bitch, you getting karma for that bitch. You getting a double goddamn whammy. The do Woo ain't that something? Ain't that something? Divine masculine, divine feminine is getting a double whammy in, in their finances, in their health. They getting the divine masculine, divine feminine getting a major breakthrough, a double whammy, because you got a double mission. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all got a double mission, not all of you. I'm hearing the majority of you that are chosen, okay, got double missions. These people are about to get double whammies too. Because see, all those years, all those months and weeks and days that they fucking attacked you, they never got karma for that shit. These are people that ain't never got karma for nothing and they don't believe in God. They just pretend they believe in God. They go to church every day. They act like they're holier than thou. They sit up and they talk about tarot readers and people that's a part of the spiritual community. They're devil worshipers. They participate in witchcraft, but they be the main ones doing motherfucking spell work on you. These are people that ain't never got their fucking karma, but they finna get their karma. They finna get a double fucking whammy of karma. Yeah, all that shit that y'all been doing for years, months, weeks, and days, it's been finally caught up with your ass and you can't take it. You can't handle it, bitch. You up under judgment. You don't know what the fuck to do, but keep watching and stalking, trying to block people and do shit behind the scenes to ruin and sabotage somebody because you know somebody is about to make it to the light at the end of the tunnel. They've been on a path. They've been on a spiritual journey. They went through some type of awakening. Dark night of the souls, many spiritual awakenings, many kundalini awakenings, many or one. Yeah, y'all know what's up now. You didn't know what was up then. You thought your same tricks and tactics were going to work. You thought you were going to be able to snatch the baton out of divine masculine, divine feminine hand. You never snatched shit. Yeah, you snatched shit. You snatched shit in the past, but you can't do that now, baby. We didn't already made it to the promise land. How, what are you going to snatch? He already sitting in the front. What the fuck are you going to snatch now? You can't snatch shit. You don't need a baton to get to the promised land. All you need is God. You, you motherfuckers don't believe in God. Yeah, you had to have a baton when you was running the human race because it, 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 was, just a, it was just a race. It was your free will. You know what I'm saying? You you, you have free, free will to do right or to do wrong. When everybody is running the human race, God don't put a gun to your head. Don't nobody put a gun to your head. You have free will to do what the fuck you want to do. And you actually have free will to get to the promised land. All right. But all you got to do is just follow God, follow his path. He will order your fucking steps. And like I said, you motherfuckers don't believe in God. How are you going to snatch a baton out of somebody's hand when they're already sitting at the chariot? You don't need a baton to get to the promised land. Because <laughs> your access got to be granted. You got to be tapped into the Akashic Records. You bitches are trying to get into uh, people Akashic Records. You can't get into that shit. 
again, you got the world Akashic Records and you got the eternal Akashic Records. Records. You're not getting in that shit. Temperance card here. It's a lot of archangels everywhere that's protecting divine masculine, divine feminine, surrounding them. What are you talking about? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing this shit in my third eye. I really hope this is making sense to you. This is this 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 message right here is definitely for my chosen ones, for my chosen babies, for my star seeds, for my earth angels, for my walking avenger angels. What did I tell you? Cherry card here. You already sitting there. You didn't already made it to the light at the end of the tunnel. The only thing is you ain't you ain't the gates ain't open yet. Cause God gotta get rid of these motherfucking people. They heartbroken because they know you made it. Ooh, nan, nanny, boo boo. You not at the promised land, and I ain't making fun. No, you baby. I ain't talking about you. You you not sitting in the cherry. You not sitting in the motherfucking cherry. All you can do is watch and stock and watch and stock and work in cahoots and do spell work. You too late. These people are trying to come up with another trap, trap, another trick, another tactic. Damn. We snatched the baton out their hand. What can we do? Can we snatch the baton out their hand at the promised land? No. You don't need a baton to get to the promised land. You don't need a finish line. You don't need a red ribbon and a bow to get to the promised land. God gets you to the promised land. You got to have access to the promised land. You got to be connected to the most high God to get to the promised land, baby. You can't just snatch nobody's shit. See, the human race, the human race was a test. Everybody was being tested. The chosen ones was being tested. The, the, the karmics was being tested. Some of y'all were actually chosen and you sold your soul. You had a fall from grace. Some of you were just born karmic. You was just sent here. You just reincarnated here to, to try to destroy divine masculine, divine feminine. You know, but you could have earned your divinity. You could have you could have had a relationship with the most high God, whether you're karmic chosen or not. And don't get me wrong. We got people that's walking amongst us that ain't even human. They reptilians and demons and shit that's been sent on y'all path and sent on y'all way. And I'm not just talking about chosen ones. A lot of these people that y'all be working in cahoots with and kiki in and ha-ha and with, them people ain't human. But you've been working with them to go against the chosen one when you should have been helping the chosen one. Maybe you could, maybe you could go. Oh, yeah. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Now, y'all are sitting in the chariot. The gates ain't open yet in front of the gates of milk and honey. Now, you sitting there, you also got a golden ticket. And the golden ticket that you have, it has plus one on it. Now, who you going to take? Divine masculine, divine feminine. You going to take one of these karmics that betrayed you or you going to take your kingdom spouse? You going to take one of these karmics that, that betrayed you or you going to take your children or you going to take yourself or you going to save that plus one for later? I mean, you don't got to use your plus one when the gates open. You ain't got to use it. You can hold on to it. You know, you might meet somebody else when you in your destiny, when you living in your calling. Whoa, I'm here. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Now, you sitting in the chariot. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget about where you come from. Because see, when you make it to your destiny, when you make it to your destination, it's time to get to work. Just because you make it to your destiny, ain't that crazy? Y'all not even fully living in your calling yet. You at the beginning stages. You at the baby stages. You still a baby. You still trying to crawl. You still, you, you, you've been, re, you've been re, reborn. You like a, a born again Christian. Like when you get baptized, you've been reborn. You know what I'm saying? When you get to your destiny, when you get to your destination, it's time to get the fuck to work. Period. And the most high God is telling me to tell you chosen one, when you get to where you're supposed to go, when you get to work, when you get with your kingdom spouse, when you live out your calling, when you live out your destiny, reach out and touch somebody else's hand because somebody else going to need you. Because some of y'all, I'm telling you the truth. This message ain't for everybody. Some of y'all, I'm telling you the truth. You can't take nobody with you. Everybody can't go where you're going. I'm telling you, you already sitting in front of the chariot. They're trying to cause an illusion. They don't want you to believe that you're going to have love, that you're going to have money, that you're going to have, have wealth. They doing all type of spell work. They setting up schemes and they setting up plots behind the scenes because they fucking cowards. You already made it to the light at the end of the tunnel. You just sitting there. You just sitting there patiently, baby. Why the most, I let the most high God keep working divine masculine, divine feminine. He ain't doing nothing but working on these people he hitting them in their finances he hitting them in their health he hitting them in their mind body and soul they getting their motherfucking ass whooped every time they even speak on you every time they try to plot on you the most high god say hurt not my chosen one hurt not my anointed what you do to the chosen one they getting their ass whipped toe up from the fucking flow up in the spirit for fucking with you these people don't know who they fucking with they keep coming after chosen ones but don't forget about where the fuck you come from Cause this is some sad ass shit. You wanted to take your family members. You wanted to take your friends. You wanted to take your, uh, your, your ex lovers. You wanted to take your ex coworkers or whoever the fuck you wanted to take these people with you. But you, unfortunately you can't cause they betrayed you. I guarantee you, if you use your plus one, 
Think about it now. Look, you make it to be a professional basketball player. You make it to be a professional football player. You make it to be a rapper or a singer. You make it to be whatever the fuck, a doctor, a lawyer. You made it. You are you already made it. It's look, you did the work. Look, I'm here inside, uh, um, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. This is yours. This is your calling. This is your destiny. This is your North. No, you already fucking made it. These people are trying to cause an illusion because it ain't, you can't see it physically. You know what I'm saying? You can't see, you can't see your destiny physically. You can't see the blessing physically. It's, it's still sitting in the spiritual realm. It's still marinating in the spiritual realm, but it's, it's, it's coming to you. These people are trying to cause some type of illusion because they can't go with you. They know they can't pick up the phone. Didn't I just say that? They know they can't pick up the phone and call you and say, can I go with you to the promised land? They know they betrayed you. Some of these people are so motherfucking guilty and embarrassed. They better not pick up the phone. They ain't even got your number. They better not come by your house. They better not knock on your door. They, they better not do a motherfucking thing. Because they know they can't go. But you got work to do. You got a job to do. When you get to your destiny, reach out and touch somebody else. Ain't it fucking sad? You can't even use your plus one. You got a whole golden ticket like Charlie in the motherfucking chocolate factory. You, <laughs> Boy, I don't want to get on that movie again. I don't want to get on that movie again. I don't feel like explaining this shit, but I know I got some newcomers that watch my damn channel. Uh, Willie Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Charlie didn't have shit. They counted him out. His family was counted out. They ain't had nothing. They was dirt poor. Uh, him and his, uh, his, his granddaddy and his family members, they was living in a one-bedroom shack. I don't even think they had a toilet. They ain't have shit. I mean, I, I think him and his grandfather was sleeping in the same bed. They was living in a one-bedroom shack, but they had faith like a mustard seed. Charlie said, well, oh, oh, grandpa, oh, grandpa, I want to go to the uh, chocolate factory. I want to go to Mr. Wonka's chocolate factory. Shit. <laughs> Charlie's grandfather had faith like a mustard seed. He said, shit, I ain't got much change. You know what I'm saying? But here goes some change, grandson. Go run on down there to the, to the candy store and go buy you a chocolate bar. We might as well have faith like a mustard seed. You never know. We might get to go to the chocolate factory. She had grandpa, he scraped up that goddamn change and gave it to Charlie and Charlie ran on down there to the candy store and all them rich ass kids, them privileged ass kids, uh, middle class people. They ain't, they didn't need, they didn't really need to go to the chocolate factory. Okay, cool. It was, it was cool for them to go toward the chocolate factory, but they didn't really need to go. They already had everything. And most of them goddamn kids was ungrateful. Look how they acted when they got into the chocolate factory. Boy, why you got me talking about this spirit? Cause I really don't feel like explaining it, but spirit said, I got newcomers that's coming to my channel. So I I gotta explain this. Make sure y'all hit the like buddy. Shit. Charlie ran but back home from the candy store and it was a fucking golden ticket in it. He had the golden ticket. And now he got the Trudor Chocolate Factory. But see, Charlie and his grandfather, they weren't perfect. Charlie took his grandfather. Charlie, yeah, the, the chocolate factory, the golden ticket had a plus one on it. Come on, somebody. The golden ticket had a plus one on it. And Charlie took his grandfather. And when he went inside the chocolate factory, everybody failed. Everybody failed the chocolate factory. Mr. Wonka, he told all the motherfucking people, including Charlie and his grandfather, look, don't touch shit. The Oompa Loompas and shit, they run everything. I run everything. Don't touch shit. If you touch shit, you can hurt yourself. You can harm yourself. And you're going to get kicked out of the chocolate factory. You're not going to get the tour of the chocolate factory. Everybody fucked up, including Charlie and his grandfather. So divine masculine, divine feminine, you're not perfect. You just a humble servant. Even when you fuck up, even when you mess up, you, you, you still can always get back on your path because you believe and you trust in him and you ask for forgiveness. These people don't want to do that. Instead of them working on themselves, instead of them repenting, they sick. They being hit in their finances. They being hit in their health. Instead of them working on themselves, they keep rejecting and attacking you. And it's sad because you have to get through these attacks. You have to return that shit back to Cinder. Everybody failed the chocolate factory. Even Charlie and his grandfather, they went to the soda room and had to burp their way down. If you ain't never seen this version of this movie, it came out in the 1970s. Go look it up. It's very significant to, 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 the, to the world and the life that we're living in. But see, the difference between Charlie and those other people the difference between Charlie and, and, and his grandfather and those other people, every time somebody failed the chocolate factory, every time they touched something and got kicked out, they had an attitude. Mr. Wonka, Mr. Wonka, I can, how much you want for this chocolate factory? I can, they were cocky. They were egotistical. Everybody failed the chocolate factory, including Charlie and his grandfather. But when Charlie, when it was time for him to leave the chocolate factory, 
You understand? God sit sit high, sit low. God see everything. Charlie and his grandfather they thought they thought Mr. Wonka didn't know that they was they that they went into the that he uh that they went into the soda room. He saw everything. The Most High God saw everything. But see the difference between Charlie and them people. Charlie was humble. But Mr. Wonka, Mr. Wonka said, Charlie, you thought I didn't know that you and your grandfather went to the soda room? I know that y'all burped y'all way down. I know what y'all did. You failed too. You thought I didn't see that? Charlie said, okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Wonka. Thank you for the opportunity and left. God didn't say we couldn't make mistakes. He said, thank you, Mr. Wonka. Thank you for the opportunity. And what did Charlie get? Mr. Wonka turned around and said, wait a minute, don't go away. You know what I said? Don't go wait. So what did Charlie get? Charlie ended up inheriting the whole motherfucking chocolate factory. And then now you got a movie called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He went from rags to motherfucking riches. And that's you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Now this may sound like a, a, a stupid scenario, but it's the truth. God know that you mess up. God know that you sin. God know that you fuck up. But as long as you be a humble servant, as long as you ask for forgiveness, as long as you keep going, keep going, as long as you genuine, as long as you don't keep, uh, as long as you don't stop believing and trusting in him, he will continue to direct your path. These people are bitter and they're angry because they can't go where you going. Everybody failed the chocolate factory, including Charlie and his grandfather. But Charlie was humble though. You didn't fail too. You didn't fail down too. You'd have been heartbroken. You'd have been hurt. You didn't tripped when you failed too. You went through trials and tribulations too. Ain't nobody perfect. That's why you finna go from rags to riches. <laughs> That's why you sitting in the chariot. <laughs> yeah, and these people can't go. They want to go to the promised land. <laughs> they want to go to the promised land. Nah, 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 and they can't go. And I ain't even making fun of these people. Because I'm telling you, divine masculine, divine feminine, don't make fun of these people. Don't talk about these people. Because I'm telling you, just like when they kicked you when you was down, don't kick these people while they were down. Pray for them. I'm just speaking facts. I'm just speaking the truth. I can make fun a little bit. God know my heart. He know my soul. He know where the hell I'm going. He know where we're all going. Okay, I hate to be these people on judgment day. I don't want to be this person or these people on judgment day. I sure don't. Somebody didn't made it. You already made it. It just ain't manifested in the physical. It's sitting in the spiritual realm. God got a gift for y'all. He got a gift for the chosen one. He got a gift for me. He got a real big gift for the queen of cups, the king of cups, the emperor, the empress, the king of pentacles, the queen of the queen of pentacles, the king of wands, the queen of wands. The queen of swords, the king of swords. He got a gift for the emperor and the empress because you're every king and every queen in the day. You're the anointing one. You're the chosen one. You did the hard work. You didn't kick nobody when, you, when they were down. You didn't try to ruin them or sabotage them. You did the damn work. You did the damn thing. And now you're going to be rewarded. And you deserve it. You deserve everything that's coming to you. Period. Seven of swords here. And these people can, can keep trying to manipulate shit, ruin and sabotage shit, stop and block you from being self-sufficient, abundant. It ain't gonna motherfucking work. All these occults and shit. And it's a lot of people that work on TikTok and YouTube that keep attacking people that need to move the fuck on. They want y'all juggling. It's like somebody doesn't want to pay you what you work. Somebody know you the goat. Somebody know you the best at something. They don't want to pay you what the fuck you worth. Period. They don't. Lover's card here. Wow. And they're also trying to block you from your divine counterpart. Lover's card here with the, with the four of wands. Somebody divine counterpart could be a gemini with the lover's card ten of wands here i mean ten of swords here somebody divine counterpart is the truth <clears throat> now i'm starting to pick up on a divine masculine somebody's divine masculine is the truth seven of cups here knight of cups here three of wands here let me get some old sage I was finna go, but I'm picking up on something else. King of Cups here. This is a good King of Cups. Somebody is so loyal and so real. Wow. Oh, so that's what this is. Hold up. That's what this is. I'm hearing that song again. I wish it on a star. Do -do, to find out where you are. I wish it on a train. I feel this time we should make up, baby. I feel this time that we should get back together. Do -do 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 -do. Baby, we were together. Wow, this is beautiful. So now I'm starting to pick up on love. Uh-oh. 
love. I'm hearing there's some hoes in this house. There's some Jezebels here that's trying to block this shit. They don't want Divine Feminine to be Cinderella. They don't want Divine Feminine to have love. But this man is here. I'm hearing this song. Whatever you want, girl, you know I can't provide. Somebody's divine masculine is the motherfucking truth, bruh. Somebody's divine masculine judgment card here. The most high God is calling judgment on all this fuck shit and on all this bullshit. God, the most high God is saying, you think you're going to stop my chosen beings from coming together? From having generational wealth and abundance. Somebody don't want you to be with a star. So that could literally be a divine masculine. That's a, that's a celebrity. Or this could be a, a divine feminine. Somebody is a celebrity. It's like somebody could already be a celebrity. And then one person is about to be a celebrity. Somebody is, is a world-renowned star. Somebody is a legend. Somebody or an icon. Somebody... <laughs> Side note, side note. I'm so sick of Miss Netta and Charles. Allegedly, I ain't gonna say nothing bad about them, but I don't believe Netta and Charles is human. But when I said the, when I said the word icon, I thought about Netta. Cause she always talking about you're an icon. I'm an icon. We're, we're social media icons. Netta and Charles is, I don't know. You is not no motherfucking icon. <laughs> I don't believe them motherfuckers is human. I swear to God, I believe Netta and Charles are or are, are reptilians. That's just my opinion, but any fucking ways, <laughs> bro, somebody's divine masculine is so like, man, I can feel this person's energy. King of Cups temperance card here. Whoever this divine masculine is, somebody, this King of Cups temperance is a walking Avenger angel. Somebody is so loyal. Somebody is so real. Somebody is so God, God fearing. Somebody is the motherfucking truth and a boss, a real boss. Man, this is the type of person, this man right here can call judgment on anybody. This man sit in the palm of God's hands, just like divine feminine. Now, y'all know I'm saying man, but I'm sure there's more. These are real divine masculines here that's ready to get married. They ready to get married. They ready to settle down. They ready to provide. They ain't trying to play games. Yeah, Queen of Swords here. Oh, okay. Hi. Yeah, woo. Wow, this is a fucking higher fin here with the Queen of Swords. Oh, okay. Somebody wants you to reject the love of your life. So somebody could be sending false, false lovers in, false lovers in, fake lovers in, because it's like they want you to be in a relationship or they want you to be pregnant before the love of your life come. Didn't I tell y'all? I've been telling y'all the same thing. The last trick of the devil is to send a man or a woman in, to send a karmic man or a karmic woman in. They don't want you to be with your divine counterpart. You could be with anybody as long as it's not your divine counterpart. They want y'all with a loser. They want y'all with a dark witch or a fucking warlock. They want y'all with a reptilian, a Jezebel, a Judas. They want you with somebody that don't give a fuck about you, that don't care about you. Somebody wants you to feel like you will never have love, but you finna get that shit and you also finna be blessed in your finances. Period. Point blank. Somebody love you. I'm hearing somebody love you baby oh 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 somebody love you baby Ooh, ooh, ooh. wow this is beautiful <laughs> a patty labelle could be significant ace of cups it happened so suddenly <laughs> oh yeah <that's>, yeah <laughs> somebody gonna knock somebody off somebody's feet now i'm hearing stevie wonder and it makes me weak and knocks me off my feet. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't want to bull. Hermit card here. Somebody divine masculine is in hermit. I'm picking up on a man. Somebody divine masculine is in hermit. Oh, this is so beautiful. What the fuck am I tapping into now? I'm tapping in on the love. I'm hearing Stevie Wonder say, I don't want to bore you with my trouble. But there's something about your love that makes me wicked, knocks me off my feet. There's a divine masculine here. I'm picking up on a whole nother storyline. There's a divine masculine here that's really been through a lot. Same for you, divine feminine. Somebody, excuse me. Somebody wants to know when you'll accept them. When you have their hand in marriage, somebody could have a deformity. Somebody could be missing a limb. Somebody could be in a wheelchair. Somebody could be missing a leg or missing an arm. Or somebody could just be, I don't know, somebody could have a disability. This king of wands, two of cups. Wow, excuse me, spiritual birth. Wow. 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 This is so evil, but yet it's so beautiful. There's people here. There's a group of people here that's trying to keep you from your person. Let me go get my lip chat. <clears throat> I'll be right back.
Well, hell, I thought I had my damn lip chat. Where did I do with it? Oh, it's sitting right there on my desk. I thought I had it in my bathroom. I don't want to bore you be my troubles. But there's something that you love. Doom, 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 doom. I love me some Stevie Wonder. My damn brother loves Stevie Wonder. My brother's so sweet. My brother is a good dude, y'all. I gave a shout out to my brother the other day. My brother is a sweet person. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I've been around real men before. And I thank God that I had the opportunity to encounter real men. And I feel like that's what this divine masculine is. These divine masculines are just so sweet and so beautiful and so kind and so loving. And somebody could definitely be a Gemini. Somebody could be a Gemini in this energy. Okay, somebody could definitely be an air sign. Mm. I'm here. Somebody is very analytical. Somebody is very wise. Somebody is very covered. I just love this lipstick, y'all. This is one of my favorite ones, and this is some cheap-ass lipstick. Mega Blast. I don't know, but it holds so good. It's just so beautiful, like me. <laughs> ah, I'm so beautiful. Hmm. Yes, y'all, but I feel like these divine masculines, y'all, they are so beautiful. Oh, shit, I got my Aaliyah on. Your love is a one in a million. It goes on and on and on. <laughs> you give, you give. <laughs> y'all, I need to stop. Shit, y'all, I don't like how this is party. I don't like how this wig is party. It's one of these wigs that it, it came with a side part. You can't put it in the middle, but... I made this shit work. Y'all don't mind me. I'm having a divine feminine moment. Hold up, though. Shit, I wasn't even trying to do all that. Hair getting tangled. This is some good hair, too, though, y'all. It don't really tangle. It's cute. Y'all, let me get back to the read. Let me stop. You give me, baby. <laughs> oh, Lord, I just lower shit. A courtship. Motherfucking courtship. Y'all, let me be honest. Y'all know this reading gonna be shadow man, but it's gonna be for whoever needs it. Y'all, the energy that I'm picking up on is real love. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige. Now I'm starting to pick up on a lot of songs. Real love. I'm searching for real love. Someone to set my heart free. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. Somebody could have been born in the 90s. Somebody could have, could have been born in 95, 94. R. Kelly could be significant. Okay, I love me some R. Kelly. I don't give a damn. Y'all can kiss my ass with that shit. Leave R. Kelly alone, shit. They know what R. Kelly been doing. Just like anybody fucking is. I love me some R. Kelly, man. Yeah, Justice card here. Libra Energy, Five of Swords here, Five of Cups, man. These people gonna be sick as fuck when these people come into union. When you and your divine counterpart come together. Angel number 444 four, four could be significant. You could be seeing 444 four, four a lot. Y'all, real shit. I'm starting to feel butterflies. Like, bro, this is so beautiful. The energy that I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on a man. I'm picking up on a divine masculine that, that's just gorgeous. I'm hearing this man is past fine, past handsome. This is a beautiful fucking man inside and out. These are beautiful men. Three of pentacles here. This group can stop this shit. This union is going to come together. I feel like these karmics are trying to send fake lovers in your life. They want you to get pregnant or they want you to marry somebody that's not your person. They want you to be in a relationship with somebody that don't really care about you. Somebody could be secretly married here or secretly in a relationship. Somebody is, somebody is lying about being married. Or somebody is lying about having a family. Somebody is a fucking liar. Somebody is a user as well. Somebody doesn't want men. Somebody can literally be in. There is a knight, of, a knight of Pentacles here, Page of Cups here, Page of Swords here. Yeah, there is a fucking warlock here that's doing spell work on your love life. Somebody is trying to block your love life. They're trying to block you from this King of Cups. I feel like whoever this King of Cups, when this King of Cups come out in this deck, usually this King of Cups is anointed. Moon card here, Three of Cups here. 
Somebody don't want you celebrating. Somebody doesn't want you to get married. Somebody wants to hide somebody as well. Somebody wants somebody stuck behind the scenes, never growing, never changing, never evolving. Of course, we picking up on people that work for YouTube and TikTok and shit, but these are also y'all friends and family members. And I'm pretty much through with these people. I'm pretty much don't even want to talk about these people no more. I want to talk about this divine mask and ace of swords here. Spirit said, this is the truth. Shit, this motherfucking divine masculine is the, is the truth and a boss and a real man and a real nigga. I feel like somebody need a real man and this man need a real woman. And I feel like that's you, divine feminine. That's you, divine masculine. Six of swords here. Somebody can live overseas. Somebody can live in Jamaica. I keep picking up on that song. Bermuda, Jamaica, off Sesame Street. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Bermuda, Jamaica, <laughs> Divine Feminine, you want to go? Because we got courtship here. Divine Masculine said he want to take you overseas, girl. Somebody can live in Jamaica. Somebody can live in Dubai. Divine Masculine said he want to tired of my hair doing these. Girl, J Divine Masculine said he want to take you to Dubai, Dubai or Jamaica. Somebody can be Muslim. Didn't I pick up on that shit in the beginning of the read? Somebody could be Muslim in this energy. You give me baby. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not getting distracted or nothing. I'm literally, this energy is real heavy. On and on and on. Y'all, wow, bro. Somebody could, uh, Queen of Wands, Page of Swords. Bro, it's like all these other cards that I'm starting to pull out surrounding this courtship. It's, these are people that don't want y'all to be in love and be married and be happy. Bro, somebody's divine masculine live overseas. And I'm telling you, they either live in Colombia, Jamaica, Dubai, this King of Cups here, Wheel of Fortune here, uh, Nine of Swords here, divine masculine. Don't worry. Something is bothering a divine masculine. I feel like divine masculine worries about divine feminine a lot. No, don't worry. This man stay up a lot worried about divine feminine. Somebody could even be, somebody could have been in the military. Somebody could have been in the Air Force or the Navy or the Marines. Somebody worries a lot about a divine feminine. Somebody could have been injured. Somebody could be in a wheelchair. Somebody could be a paraplegic or something like that. Yeah, eight of, eight of pentacles here. This is a bunch of karmic shit surrounding this. Eight of wands here. Angel number 808 could be significant with the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands. High priestess card here. Ace of wands here. Don't be afraid of the way you feel. Why am I hearing that? Yeah. I make you surrender to my loving baby. Oh yeah. I make you surrender. Wow, that is just this is I gotta go and I can't go. <laughs> I can't get out of this fucking energy at all. This shit is so beautiful. I can just lay in this shit. Damn divine masculine might want to lay in that shit, divine divine feminine. Divine masculine said, do it, do it smell like water? It better. It better taste and smell like motherfucking water. Somebody is hypnotized. Magician car here. Somebody finna be hypnotized by them juices. And I ain't trying to be vulgar. World car here. It's two world-renowned stars that's finna come together. There is a high priest and a high priestess and two hierophants that's finna come together. These are spiritual unions, spiritual connections. And I'm telling you, somebody divine masculine live overseas. They may actually travel everywhere by boat. Somebody travels by boat a lot. Somebody, I'm seeing like a boat. I'm seeing like a canoe. Okay. Somebody can literally be in Jamaica. I'm, somebody could be growing their hair out. I'm literally seeing somebody eat a lot of fruit, maybe a lot of plantains, uh, rice and peas. Okay, I'm hearing rice and peas. I, I keep somebody is in Jamaica, man. Jamaica. I'm hearing that song, baby. Say yeah, baby. Say yeah. Would you ride for me like you're loving me? Oh shit. You know me. Da, da, da. And whatever the fuck Ja Rule said, da na na na. Baby, say yeah. That song with Ja Rule and Charlie Baltimore. Yeah, I'm going to put these songs in the description box. Go listen to that song. I'm telling you, somebody's divine masculine can live overseas, man. Somebody divine masculine is a, fuck, is a fucking boss. Straight boss. Somebody is the truth. Somebody is real. Somebody is anointed. And somebody love God, bro. This man right here love God first. Then divine feminine. Then money. Then food. Then uh, P-U-S-S-Y. However he puts it in his category. I don't know, but he loved God first. He don't love nobody else but God first. This man, somebody can have a lot of children. 
You and your divine masculine may have a blended family. I'm hearing the Brady Bunch love in marriage. And I'm hearing the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch Empress card here, death card here. Yeah. Oh, they trying to take out divine feminine. They trying to take out divine feminine before divine feminine gets with her divine counterpart. What the fuck did I tell you? I can't make this shit up, baby. I, I can't make this up now. Did I make this up? I can't make this up. My hair is getting on my motherfucking nerves. That's, 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 I'm starting to get irritated with my damn hair. Hold on. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. Who said I made it up? Karmic. The karmic saying I'm making this shit up. The karmic said I'm a fake spiritualist. I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm slow. The karmic said I don't deserve to be in the public eye. We don't deserve to be in the public eye. We're not covered in favor and favored and anointed for real. We not chosen. We don't deserve love. We don't deserve marriage. We don't deserve happiness. What, what did we do to get that? We ain't did shit. We ain't put in no work. Just because you don't see the work, baby, don't mean it ain't been done. Baby, we put in hard work and dedication. We going to get this money, baby. We're going to get what you stole from us. It's going to come back tenfold. It's going to come back like a double whammy. Then we're going to get another ace of pentacles with our divine counterpart. We're going to have love and marriage and wealth and generational wealth and abundance. And you're going to be sitting in the motherfucking feds, bitch ass karmic. That's where you're going. You're going to be sitting in the feds. You're going to be six feet under in a, in a grave or you're going to be cremated or you're going to be sitting in the mausoleum, bitch, because you don't you don't know when to quit. You don't know when to stop attacking somebody. You don't know when to stop doing death spells and black magic on somebody because you're jealous and you're motherfucking envious, bitch. And you should be scared. Not a wand here. You should be in fear. You should get yeah, a ten of pentacles here because you know what you've been stealing and you know what you've been taking. Angel number 10, 10 could be significant. Yeah, something will happen to y'all motherfucking ass in divine timing. But I'm through with that. Divine action. I don't want to say too much about you because it's a lot of karmics that like to watch. Oh, you divine masculine. Shout out to all the real divine masculines out there. Divine masculine, you are just it, man. Divine masculine, you are everything. Divine masculine, you deserve a divine feminine and divine feminine deserves it. And I want you to stop worrying. There is a divine masculine that worries about divine feminine 24 7, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. This man stay worrying about divine feminine. Is divine feminine open? The divine feminine cheat today is divine Divine feminine cold is divine feminine high. Divine feminine holy. I pray. Oh, somebody pray all day. Damn, I love a man to pray. Somebody is a Muslim in this energy. I'm seeing somebody pray. Somebody pray for it. Somebody could pray up to three times a day. Something about Ramadan. Somebody prays a lot. Somebody could be in Dubai or Jamaica. I don't fucking know. I'm here in Dubai, Jamaica, or Colombia. Somebody lives overseas. I'm seeing this with the Six of Swords. Somebody lives overseas. Somebody prays a lot and they travel by boat. Okay? Yeah, somebody could have literally faked their death. Or somebody could be in hiding. I don't know. I'm hearing death row records could be significant. I keep picking up on that. Tupac Shakur could be significant. I'm not saying Tupac. This, I'm talking about Tupac. But somebody here is just a real ass man. Like Somebody is like Tupac. Let's put it like that. Tupac was a real man. Period. And he was, he, he died at 25, but he was a real man. He was solid. You know, they say the, 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 um, the good die young. You know what I'm saying? Most people that die young, they're very mature for their age. You can even think, talk about Aaliyah. Aaliyah had an old soul. Aaliyah died at 22 years old, but you know what I'm saying? She was so mature for her age. You know what I'm saying? So this divine masculine, as well as divine feminine, you guys can be really mature for your age. Somebody has an old soul. This could be an older man or this man is just, he's just an old soul. This could be a young man with an old soul. Yeah, somebody prays a lot. Hang man here. Somebody is very enlightened as well. Very anointed. Somebody prays for divine feminine all day, every day. God, protect my wife. Maybe you could be praying for divine masculine. Protect my husband. If you're not praying for your divine masculine, I feel like you need to. If you're not praying for your divine feminine, you need to. Because this man or this woman definitely prays for you. I'm hearing divine masculine prays hard. I'm seeing this man. My wife. My wife. My wife. What is my wife doing, God? I, I feel like somebody daydreams about divine feminine. I wonder what my wife doing right now. Is my wife okay? I feel like if divine masculine can't see you, they can't function. They got to know if their wife is okay. And you ain't even this man's wife yet. So divine feminine, you might 
might not even know who this man is, but this man know who you is, and this man is in love. Whatever you want, he said he gonna provide. Whatever you need, because God told him to. God told him who you is and showed him who you is, and he been on it, and he gonna stay on it until you get, until he put that ring on your finger, until the royal wedding happens, and these motherfucking people is gonna be sick. They gonna be butt hurt. They gonna be assed out. Food card here, six of pentacles here. Yeah. You protect the divine masculine, divine feminine sun card here. Six of pentacles. Just be real careful. That's all I'm going to say. Be real careful because these people, these karmics, they playing a, a dangerous fucking game. Page of pentacles here. Five of pentacles here. These people playing a, a, a dangerous game to keep y'all stuck in poverty or to put you in poverty. Or to keep you assed out, broke, never. These people don't want you to elevate. They don't want you to rise. But you're going to rise. You shall rise. You like the rose that grew out of the concrete. You know, you go walking down the street on, on a pavement, on, on the concrete, and you see a fucking rose. You don't, you don't see a rose. That's rare. You're rare. And that's why you have a mission to fulfill. That's what these people don't understand. Yeah, six of swords. Six. Of, I mean, yeah, seven of wands here. Why you got to keep battling this group by yourself? They don't see your spirit guides here. Because they think you alone. These people like to attack people that they feel like are by themselves. Ten of Cups here. I'm through with this group. I'm through with these motherfucking karmic. This, this divine masculine is in my motherfucking mind. Somebody pray all day, every day. Somebody is so fucking anointed and so goddamn fine. I feel like when you look at this man, you see God. It's like somebody is God. Somebody. I'm hearing something about Joseph in the Bible, David. I'm hearing something about David David and Goliath or whatever. I'm hearing something about, yeah, this, this divine masculine. I ain't even know I put this shit back in the deck. This divine masculine is the truth, man. Damn. And this means somebody live overseas. Somebody is a fucking boss. I like you. What's your name? What the hell is your name, divine masculine? Put it in the comment section. What is your name? If you know you a real boss, you know you a real man, a real nigga. I don't even like, I ain't even gonna say nigga. If you know you the motherfucking emperor, put that shit in the comment section with your fine ass. Because you know you're fine, babe. You know you're fine. You is fine. I'm seeing you, divine masculine. God damn, you fine. You are royalty too. I see you up there sitting on your throne. You already did made it. I feel like I feel like somebody is a celebrity. The rapper Future could be significant. Somebody is a somebody could know Future. I'm hearing the rapper Rallo could be significant. The rapper Two Change could be significant. Somebody already made it to the promised land, but they didn't make it to the promised land. If that makes sense, it's like somebody already. It's like somebody could already be rich. Somebody can already be wealthy. But it's like in order for them to gain more wealth, more wealth, in order for them to have access to the Akashic Records, in order for them to get to the next level. Wow. Okay. Here we go again. Okay. It's making sense. I got to go. I'm going to close this out after this. They don't want divine feminine to be the privileged lady. They don't. Yeah. They don't want divine feminine to have love. Yeah, it, it don't matter, though, because this man, he going to come get you himself. That ain't no problem. Yeah, he, this man is wealthy. Great fortune. Yeah, false person here. They want divine feminine to partner up with a false person so she can't get to her divine counterpart, her divine masculine. They don't want divine feminine to be taken care of. They don't want divine feminine to be the empress. They don't want divine feminine to be the privileged lady. They want divine feminine's feet to touch the ground. But I'm hearing divine feminine, your feet was never supposed to touch the ground. And see, look, wealthy man here. Whoever divine masculine is, they want divine masculine wealthy. They want divine masculine to have money. They want divine feminine in poverty. They want divine masculine to have money and, 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 and be wealthy. But they want him sitting on his throne with a Jezebel. They don't mind divine masculine being a wealthy man, great fortune, but he got to be on the side of a Jezebel, a bitch that don't love him, a bitch that don't care about him, but that don't even fucking matter. Divine masculine got this thing in the, yeah, this divine masculine got this thing in the bag. Okay, I'm hearing just throw it in the bag. Uh, 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 just throw it in the bag. You can have whatever you like. The rapper T.I. could be significant. I'm telling you, divine masculine, man, somebody is, a, is, a, is, a, is anointed. Somebody pray so hard. Oh, somebody love to pray. Somebody love to pray, man. This divine masculine finna get justice in something. I gotta go imprisonment. This divine masculine could be in the feds or he could be in hiding or somebody could have faked their death. But there's definitely a royal wedding here. I'm hearing somebody, a divine feminine finna go rag from rags to riches. All of you. All of these wealthy men here, thief card here. Somebody is trying to stop you on your journey. Somebody is trying to stop a spiritual connection. I'm getting a download for a particular divine feminine. I ain't going to say your name, but I'm actually seeing you, okay? I've seen you. I don't know you in real life, but I see you. And God just told me something to tell you. 
leave that man alone. I hope this message finds you, but leave that man alone, okay? Some of you could be talking to people or dating or mingling with people. I'm here and use protection if you having sex or anything like that. If you're messing around with somebody, you know, just, just guard yourselves. But I'm talking to somebody that's in a relationship. You need to leave that man alone. There is somebody here that's not your divine masculine. This man may have money. This man may treat you right. He might be good for you. But I feel like somebody is destined to be a star. Somebody is destined to be a world-renowned rapper. You could be a female rapper. Somebody is destined to be in the public eye, but I feel like the person that you're with, they're not destined to be with you. Somebody is stealing from you sexually or something like that or energetically. Okay, this could be for several divine feminines. Hell, this could even be including myself, but I don't deal with people or fool with people. This could be something future wise. But yeah, just be careful, man, because you got sudden wealth here. Okay, you got a lot of abundance coming here. Okay. I'm a, this this reading will be continued. You're seen in high honor because I'm seeing more shit. I've seen the mature woman, the mature man. Yeah, yeah, pathway here. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing a lot here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Yeah, stay on your path. You're already at the light at the end of the tunnel. All right. Uh, I'm seeing a lot more here. I'm seeing a lot more here. I'm just going to tell you guys to be very careful. These karmics are plotting behind the scenes. They're plotting real hard behind the scenes. Okay. Divine Masculine, congratulations on your freedom. Congratulations uh, on whatever you're doing because you're working on something. Congratulations. Congratulations on the wedding. I hope your wife know she got a player for life and that's no bullshit. I don't know. It's a Divine Masculine here that got me captivated. Somebody is like Tupac. And I'm not talking about Tupac. I don't feel like Tupac got anything to do with these people or this reading. Somebody has the spirit of Tupac. Somebody is so real. Somebody is just like, you know, like when Tupac got five, he got shot five times at Quiet Studios, but he came back to life. He was like a fucking cat. I feel like that's what this person is. Somebody, somebody cannot be taken out. They cannot be defeated. These divine masculines are real men. I don't know. This is like Tupac Shakur on 10. This is like another Tupac. I don't know what this is or who this is I'm picking up on, but shout out to you. You the, you the realest. You the, you the truth. I love you. I love all of you. Make sure y'all hit the like button, like, subscribe, and share. Peace, you guys. This message will be continued. I love y'all. Bye.